Okay, next step is to, to machine the grooves here on the top surface of the part. So now I will create new operation to decontouring. Okay, I will choose two millimeter cylindrical mill, which fits perfectly into these grooves because we, they have also two millimeter width. So I will machine them, them using only one pass. Okay, now in the job assignment here, I need to set the contours I'm going to machine. Holding control key, I'm selecting uh, I will turn off surface selecting, so it will be a little bit more convenient. Okay. As you can see, every groove has a longer and shorter edge on different sides. For example, for this groove, it has longer edge here and shorter one. I am selecting the longer edge of every groove in order my to for my toolpath to be correct for this. Okay, and this will require less manual adjustment. Okay, I press curve button. Next, I will select this surface, turning on surface selection. This is my top level and this surface is my bottom level. Okay, now we are ready to press run and see the toolpath and the machining result. So as we can see here, this is the bed area. So I need to extend a little bit the toolpath in this area in order to uh, the mill go outside of the part and only then uh, retract. Okay, so, uh, uh, but first I will change the direction of cutting in these three uh, grooves in order to make all the grooves to be uh, cut in one direction. So just press these buttons like this. Okay, very good. Or also I can make it other side. I think it will be even better like this. That's it. So now I will extend the toolpath a little bit. So I will turn off the tool and the holder. So now, as you know, this is a special, um, special element for toolpath extension. But if I take it and drag, I will extend also the toolpath here on the top. So it is not what I want. Then I deselect this feature, which is select and edit similar features together. Deselect this. So now I can select manually holding control key the features I'm going to adjust like this now I can drag like this and get the result okay very good so we can reset and run turn on the tool once again okay as we can see now the toolpath is correct Everything is machined correctly. So now I need to machine these uh, grooves. Uh, as you can see, they are symmetri symmetrical to the first one. So I go to Transformations tab and press Axis Symmetry. So next, I need to adjust the axis I'm going to uh, use for Axis Symmetry. So as you can see, the axis is moving along X and Y axis. So I think my axis must be somewhere here, but I need to put it very precisely. So I will uh, measure the length of my part. It is 73 millimeters. So the position of this axis will be uh, 70 three millimeters divided by two. So I type in right here, 73 divided by two and get 36.5. So this is the correct position for the axis I'm going to use for uh, trans two path transformation. Reset and run. So, okay, as you can see now the toolpath is mirrored 
and all the grooves are machined.